So, do you want to start off by telling us your name and how long you've been skateboarding for? Hi, uh, my name's Craig, uh, but every day since I've been skating, everyone calls me Hanky. And I've been skating for about 16, 17 years now, started when I was about 11. Why, why the nickname? Why Hanky? It's my second name, Hankinson. Hankinson. So, <laughs> so, what got you into skateboarding in the first place? Um, just, I had a mate that had a board and uh, I didn't have a board, so whenever I hung about with him, we would share it. But then I just kind of kept, kept going with it more than he did. And he had, uh, well, this is how old I am, he had Sky Television, but I didn't have Sky Television, so he had like a extreme sports channel and all that kind of thing. And, like Kerrang all the music channels had <laughs> skateboarding in them at some point all the all that kind of stuff so it all just kind of came together at that one point I thought that's well, amazing I, I, need, I need to get better at this so just uh, got a board for my Christmas not long after that and just kind of kept going for there. So what was the first skating film that you ever seen? Uh, well I think I, the first one I seen was uh, that, that kind of actually uh, got me right into was sorry, was a uh, flip sorry. Right. But before that, all I'd ever seen was like at the end of the Tony Hawk's games. It was um, you'd get like a little thirty second clip of like that skate or whatever. So I just thought that's what skate videos were. Like you'd see the thirty second thing and be like, oh cool. But then when I seen sorry and it was like an hour, an hour and a half long. It was all this stuff going on. I just that kind of blew my mind a bit. So like how many people were doing it? Was it popular? So I'm saying it was like um. People, it was like a fad when I first got into it, and I think it's always been like that uh, since it started. Like, it's had little kind of ebbs and flows. And uh, when I started, there was, as I say, there was a big kind of, I don't know, cultural shift like, with the music scene and everything. Skateboarding was, was dead involved. So when I did it, there was people that obviously did it, but then as the, more, the older I got doing it, less and less people everyone kind of dropped off. And it just did seem like it was maybe me and a handful of people rather than when there was the big boom, if you know what I mean. Was music like a big kind of influence for folk skating back, like ah, yeah, back when you started? I think it was, I think it was just music, I think just generally there was this, for some reason, this kind of uh, push um, and yeah, like X Games and all that kind of stuff was like really, really relevant at the time and everything, like the Tony Hawk's games, like people, even if they didn't know about skateboarding, they would play those video games. Um, so yeah, it seemed, it seemed like a lot of people didn't, but looking back, it was maybe just me and about three or four other people when it wasn't until uh, we, we actually had the park just down the road there before this one was made. As soon as I went there I realised there was people skating in like Salco, it's a dross and West Coast Bride and stuff and you had, you had all these different uh, yeah, different guys. Was it kind of reception or other kind of groups of people? The park over there really kind of brought everyone together. Like other than that I only had like maybe two other people that I skated with and we would just skate about the streets and stuff. And then I don't know if you want to use this, but like it was we had a, a time when you know the uh, it's the co-op now in Cowinning in the main street, but it used to be like same uh, safeway at the time. We used to go up there and skate in that roof because it had like a gap on it, so it was just going up skating the gap. And obviously seen that in like the flip video and stuff, like skating roof gaps and everything. So we thought that was dead cool. And then uh, one time we just went up there one too many times, and the police came by and tried to chase us away, but we were only. About 12, 13 at the time, so we didn't really like caught with the police. So on the way down, my mate jumped off the roof onto the butcher's kind of like sheet metal roof and just fell straight through and landed in the <laughs> landed in the butcher's freezer. And so I ended up getting uh, banned for skating for about like, three, four months or something. And it wasn't until we went to the park there that we that we got it. But it was just you were in your own little world kind of thing. How did you? think that it was going to like transpire for you like, later on? Like, did you think you would still be doing it now? Oh, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> like, uh, at, the time, I, at the time we were just kind of doing it. Like, uh, the whole point was when we were growing up it was like, right, well, we're going to get a car and then like, you know, can you get to your later teens, like, we'll get a car and then when we get a car we're just going to travel a bit Britain and do all that kind of things. And then we got a car, you would do that but then it would be like, alright, we need to go to like Barcelona. We need, you know, it was a, it was a w more of a way of like traveling rather than I don't know making a career out of it. Because we all, I think we all kind of knew where it's saying it was like, well, we're not going to get sponsored, and we're we're all right, but we're not that good. Like the the industry just moves really, really quick in that sense. So it was always just about like going different places and skating different spots, and then as I say, you do Scotland, and then if you can't skate Scotland, you try and skate England, maybe then 
Just keep broadening it. Would you say that skateboarding still is relevant for you as what it was when you began? Bro? Yeah, well that's, I mean, I work at the park just now, this was like a kind of a weird uh, last minute job offer, but if I wasn't working here, I'd still be coming down here a lot. It's like, grew up, as, it was my local. Um, met most of my friends be uh, skating here, so. It's quite a strong community then. Yeah, that was decent. Those. Like, as I say, a lot of guys don't do it anymore. There's a lot of injuries, obviously. The older you get, I've got like no ligaments left in my ankles. Just, I've literally, like, I've rolled my ankles so many times <laughs> that the, just the ligament, even when I, you know, when you tweak your ankle that way, uh, it's like nothing happens anymore. So. If it, like if I was injured like them, I probably wouldn't be doing it anymore. But they, those guys still come down, even though they don't skate. They still want to uh, see everyone and can hang around stuff. So I'd say it's still really, uh, really relevant. Yeah. Would you say that it's lost its popularity, but like in Scotland? Yeah. Um, can't really say. I mean, I need to look into it a bit more. But there's always been people doing it. Stuff. Obviously, obviously, they're natural fish eyes, so it's, it's, I'm good to go, man, just let me do that.